Nyojong, and welcome to another story session. If you are a person who prefer very short horror story, or you just don't have the time right now to listen to a longer horror story, but still want to get your daily dose of horror story in, then this story is for you. Enjoy. Back in Laos, there was a young man who went out to go visit his girlfriend one night. This young man rode on his moped to go visit his girlfriend because her village was about two hours of walking distance away from his village. He stayed and talked with his girlfriend until it was midnight. It was getting very late, so he decided to go back home. He hopped on his moped and started heading home. About 30 minutes into his ride back home, he came upon an old grandma. He saw that the grandma was walking alone by herself. And she was carrying a go, or in English, I guess it would be described as a bamboo basket. So he stopped and asked where the grandma was heading to. The grandma told him she was heading home and that she lost track of time while she was working at the farm. The young man proceeded to ask her where she lives. The grandma told him where she lived, and it turned out that she was from the same village as him. Because they both were heading the same way home, he offered to give her a ride on his moped. The grandma accepted the ride and thanked the young man. So, the young man sat in the front riding his moped, and the grandma sat behind him. About five minutes later, the young man thought to himself, it was weird that he just picked up a random person in the middle of the night. He thought some more about how his parents are always warning him about the danger of picking up random strangers, especially during the night. His father was always telling him that those random strangers could be ghosts in disguise. After remembering about his parents' warning, the young man started feeling a little creeped out. Suddenly, there was an awful smell coming from the grandma, who was sitting behind him. He didn't want to be rude and ask her why it smelled bad, so he decided to just look in the side mirror on his moped and to check if she was indeed a human. It was dark out, but he was able to see just enough of the grandma's face in the mirror. To his horror, he saw some blood on the grandma's face. The young man freaked out and thought this grandma wasn't human. So, in an attempt to escape from this grandma, whom he thought to be a ghost, he swerved his moped off the road. The grandma fell off the moped and onto the dirt. As the young man was about to take off with his moped, the grandma yelled out to the young man, Why'd you do that for? The young man turned to look at her and said, I know you're not a human. You stay away from me. To which the grandma replied, I am a human. What makes you think otherwise? The young man said to her, If you're a human, why do you smell bad? And why is there blood on your face? The grandma replied, The reason it smelled bad was because I farted. But I was too embarrassed to tell you, so I just stayed quiet and hoped you didn't smell it. As for the blood, it came from my nose. I was peeking at my nose, but the road was bumpy, so it caused me to accidentally poke my nose too hard. After the grandma explained herself, the young man saw that the grandma was indeed a human like him. So he apologized to the grandma and helped her to get back on his moped. Then, they continued riding on his moped home. Alrighty, and that concludes this very, very short horror slash comedy story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. If you didn't enjoy it, click the dislike button. If you have any questions or comments, write them down in the comment section below. You know, do all that jazz. Also, I would like to give credit to where credit is due. Even though I wrote this story in English and told it in English, I actually heard this story first from my older brother when I was a little kid. My older brother told me this story, but in Hmong, and this story just stuck with me ever since. So I got to give credit to my older brother. Now, I don't know if he heard it from someone else or, or if he was actually the person who came up with this story himself. So yeah, I got to give credit to my older brother there. And uh, I just thought that, you know, I, I just want to share the story with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys did. Uh, enjoy, uh, what did I say? Oh, yeah. Take care. Bye-bye now.